getting up in this big old bee stuff. It's Thursday morning. <sighs> I booked a Tesla. <laughs> I booked a Tesla last night and I booked a Honda Civic this morning. So those are going to be my rides up from uh, Southern California to Central California to pick up my other two vehicles that are taking me home. Thanks. So let me go find somebody and drop these keys off. We'll plug in the other address and see if I remember how to drive a freaking Tesla. <laughs> how to open the doors. <laughs> if you guys want to trip out, you know, just uh, just start hauling cars. They'll just give you a key. The little girl didn't even ask me to uh, verify a VIN or anything. She was like, oh yeah, the Tesla, the X. They were talking about that yesterday. Here you go. Here's the key. I don't know where it's at. Sign here. Okay, thanks. I could have signed, you know, I could have signed anything. She would have let me go, so... I just uh, got a $40,000 Tesla. <laughs> Good thing I'm an honorable woman. <laughs> Let's go try and find this. See, that wasn't bad. It's right there. I just walked into the lot. Oops. Shit. I opened the back. I don't know how to close it. Oh, I closed it. Oh, shit. I opened it. Come on. Okay, two buttons is close. Or two clicks, I should say. Ooh, fancy. Let me see if I remember. I hauled one of these one time. I do remember how to open the door. <laughs> yeah, they're cool, whatever. The world's still gonna end. But it's it's good if you want to save money on fuel. Gas is high and from what I understand, it does not cost a lot to charge this thing at your house. Front trunk, close all. Oh, it closed the door for me. Wow. Okay. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, let me see if I know how to freaking work this thing. Oh, look at that, that's fancy. A big ass screen. It, they're cool, whatever. I'm, I'm still a diesel truck chick, so. <laughs> I'm so fast, I'm already lo I already got it loaded up. CarMax, Marietta, California, a little Honda Civic. I'll whip around and throw the Tesla back on. Tesla's dropping in LA and uh, the little Civic is going up to uh, Central California so I had to switch the positions on these things. And now we can roll up the Tesla again. And get the heck out of here. I have to drop these off today and pick up two more. So uh, um, I'm not really pushed for time but of course the longer you take, the longer it takes. The longer it takes, the less money you end up making at the end of the day because time is money. So that's how that goes. So I'm, I'm always in a personal rush. <laughs> and, uh, but that's just me. I don't know, other people are different. So, all right, get this little, little sucker loaded up. Check my ramps really quick. Get it loaded up and in a hundred miles, less than a hundred miles, this uh, Tesla, maybe about 40 miles, I don't know. Tesla's gonna get dropped off. That one's good. This one needs to bump over. See that? There we go. Perfect. Yep, drop this one off in about an hour and then head up back over the grapevine. Drop off the little Civic. And then go grab two more. So that's the plan. Going up. Perfect. That's it. That's how we do it, y'all. Strap them down and get on down the road. And hopefully this is my final load. Honda Accord and a Toyota Tundra. About to load up the Accord. This is a referral. A referral, a friend of a friend. So I get to help them relocate their vehicles. They're moving out of state from California. So here we go. Hopefully the last one. The last one's on because I'm losing steam here. <laughs> Let's get them loaded up and I'll show you what we got. And the nicest people. I'm going to tell you. All right, we're loaded. Everything's been put away. Guess what? I'm tired. Ready to go, ready to go. Let's get out of here. 
Let's see how far I get today. Ain't that pretty? Look at that, you guys. I'm about an hour outside of Flagstaff. That's just a beautiful sky. Man, it's beautiful in northern Arizona. It's gonna be beautiful in northern New Mexico. And it'll probably be very nice as well going through Oklahoma. I don't normally travel the 40. I'm on I-40. I'm an I-10 girl, so I stay on the 10 usually. But uh, every once in a while, my my excursions, my hotshot adventures lead me to I-40. We will see. Uh, I tend to stay away from I-40 because it's such a rough ride, you guys. I mean, it is just, whew, it is plagued with just trashy roads. It's just a, it's just a bad road. This is a really, as opposed to others, this one, I, in my opinion, is like the worst. Uh, and the wind. So it's a bad road, right? It's rough on your truck. It's rough on your trailer. It's rough on your suspension. And it uh, tends to be very windy. So uh, thus far, I haven't had uh, much, but where I'm going is historically known for the wind. So we will see if uh, I get really crappy fuel mileage or if it's uh, hopefully good and decent and there's not a ton of wind because that would be really nice. I will be dropping off tomorrow, uh, eve like afternoon, dinner, evening, dinner time sometime. I don't know, seven, six, I don't know, something like that. So uh, we will see how good or how bad it is. But man, isn't that just, that is just pretty. Just very pretty. I've been playing leapfrog with this guy. <laughs> I pass him, he passes me. I pass him, he passes me. Maybe he thinks I'm cute. He, wants to, he just wants to keep looking at me. I don't know. Anyway, let me back up off of him a little bit. Uh, I'm east of Flagstaff. Okay, I'm not in I'm not in New Mexico yet. I'm still in Arizona. A uh, little bit of wind, um, but it's not bad. And it's sprinkling, you guys. Look, it's pretty. I hope it sprinkles enough to um, wash the dust at least like one or two layers of dust off of my truck because it's pretty bad my truck is pretty nasty right now <laughs> maybe not now it stopped so i don't know we'll see how can i tell when the wind has started okay that's very simple you guys got to watch your turbo gauge okay you got to watch your oil temperature and your turbo gauge and what gear your truck is in so right now my turbo's at half and it's in ninth gear and I'm doing, you can see that I'm doing 70 and a 75. I can also, of course, I can feel it a little bit, but I can mostly, I see it and I hear it. So I see the, the little trees, you're not gonna be able to see it, but the bushes and stuff are moving around. I can see that and I hear the wind outside kind of howling and stuff. So when, you're, when your truck drops down a gear or your turbo, you know, starts uh, ramping up a little bit, then you know, you're like, hey, my truck is working harder, right? My truck needs to stay in a lower gear in order to maintain the rate of speed that I wanna be at and your turbo is, you know, uh, also uh, accounting for that, it needs more power, right? So that's how you can tell. Uh, but it must be a side wind because it's, um, let me go over here. I'm getting 11.6 to the gallon. So it must be a side wind or maybe it's even coming from behind me and it's pushing me. That would be fine too. <laughs> Hopefully it stays like this, I don't know. I'm not fighting it too bad, uh, but I can definitely feel that there's wind out there. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, rest area. Baby time, gotta go. I knew I should have woken up earlier. I was like, no, let me just get one more hour of sleep. <laughs> that was a bad choice, you guys. That was a bad choice. Somebody just had a wreck in front of us. I'm on I-40, I'm in New Mexico, and uh, I think we've all been sitting here for like half an hour. I started editing a video because I was like, oh my God. And I have, you know, just, oh. I just, I hope, I hope everybody's okay. You know, screw my schedule, but man, it, it must be bad, or it must have just happened because We've all been here for a long time. Got a lot of people behind me, look, everywhere. So, oh yeah, that's a good one, guys. Big red caught on fire. Let's zoom in a little bit there. Yep, we got down to one lane. Wow, that's a total fire, dang. Wow, yeah, man. Woo, I just made it into Texas. Uh, so I'm gonna travel, you know, the little panhandle, whatever, right here for a little bit and uh, on to Oklahoma. Oh, it feels nice to be getting home. I've been gone for like, shit, like 10 days or something. It's crazy. Uh, but anyway, let's get down the road. I got like 300 and something more miles to go and we're gonna drop. And I did schedule for one car to come down from Oklahoma City to Dallas. Um, I may or may not Oh shit, I may or may not do it, but we'll see how I feel once I drop these two off. We'll see how I feel. Maybe I grab that other one, that's a little $200 bill, uh, which really just kind of just, you know, 
pays my way to be able to deadhead home <laughs> without it coming out of pocket. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll take it. Maybe I'll cancel. You can it. see the uh, the wind uh, turbines. They're moving, but very, very slowly. I'm just getting into Amarillo, and I've got no wind. So I feel very, very happy, very lucky. Uh, hopefully this keeps up. I only got like 300 miles to go. And uh, no wind, no wind on this trip, which is which is a blessing because I'm getting between 9.8 and 11.5 uh, miles to the gallon thus far on this on this return trip, which is which is very good, which is very good. So very good. I'm happy there's not a bunch of wind blowing me around, chewing up my diesel, eating up my diesel, sucking down my diesel. I'm very happy about that, and I'll be dropping in about five hours. I'm about 45 minutes from my drop. It's uh, looking like rain here in Oklahoma City. I just rolled down my window and it is uh, pretty sticky, a little humid. It's looking like uh, there's definitely some rain going on around me. I haven't hit it yet, but we'll see. I've still got about 40 miles to drive to get to the drop. Hopefully it's not raining there. <laughs> uh, you know, that always brings its own little challenges, but we'll see. Almost done. It's uh, almost five o'clock here and I am almost done. I just dropped off those two cars here in Oklahoma, the Tundra and the Honda Accord. The nicest parents, they went to the nicest people. Uh, I jammed out of there and uh, that other car was not available. The place was closed, the dealership was closed. So I'm heading home, you guys, I'm done. And uh, this trip, the mileage that you're about to see was two little cars. It was the uh, Tesla and that little Honda Civic, I think it was. Uh, which was my ride from San Diego up to Central California and then these two vehicles coming out from Central California to Oklahoma uh, decent, you know decent for Just two cars uh, Pretty ding pretty decent, but um, you know It wasn't it was because I'm you know, that was my ride home That's my ride home. That was my ride home and I'm doing my buddy a favor and and it all worked out So I you know, I'm happy with it. I'm done. I'll be home so that I can start next week off uh, on a, a good note that I'm home and I can uh, dispatch everybody and get everybody going and um, we'll see I'm gonna do a little bit of maintenance on this this Delco I just want to check the brakes and everything and um, it feels like maybe there's a little bit of grease in there or something so I'm gonna check those and maybe I'll go out again next weekend we'll see how it goes